And good morning. You're flying the very unfriendly skies of Toronan, and today we have the IL-40 with the upgraded tail stinger. Yes, we now have 3,773 feet of range with a 20 millimeter with an attitude and a gunner that knows how to use it. And what I am doing now is taking the tack base. And I do like to tear up the anti-aircraft installations on the way in. And we're taking the armor shelter here. That's one bomb. And then we will come around. And decide I'm not going to use a bomb on that. I'll just come back around later and pick it up after I take out the next hard target. I've got some help on this one. No big deal. We've captured the tack base. So I need to get to the mining base. We we'll use a little bit of boost. Get on up there. And on this map with this particular layout, the mining base is absolutely key to winning the game. So we'll spend some time and effort on that. And not spend a whole lot of time on anything else until we need to. Alright, coming through the gap, got my alt view on so I can see whoever's in there. And I'll show you a mistake of the enemy fighter here. You have a uh, F-94 uh, Starfighter in here, 800 round per minute, uh, 800 uh, damage per minute gun. And he immediately decides that he's going to run away. Doesn't kill me. Leaves me with the other two bombers. Now folks, that's just all kinds of dumb for all kinds of reasons. Alright, so we have the uh, Messerschmitt B2 here. We're going to light it up. Got just about a thousand DPS coming out of the front end of this. 623 millimeter cannon and I'm a firm believer in why bother uh, taking out of the ground target and pick it up off the dead fighters course which we just did okay, pickle off our bomb look at that We've already captured the mining base. And you'll notice that it was a deliberate ram. Not by me, but by the other fellow. Great balls of fire. All right, we have the three bases. It's time to wrap this up. There's only the tax center left. We control the uh, air base. We control the tack base. I don't know what's going on with Great Balls of Fire, but apparently he's not making much of an inroad on what's left of the mining base. And I just slide right into the middle of the battle zone. I'm keeping a close eye on my radar here. Make sure that I've got this correct. And that uh, nobody gets behind me. If they do, I'll man the tail gun. Because I've got a good long way before I have to worry about the mountains in front of me. Coming in on the approach. Soft target here, we'll go ahead and take that out. I have two bombs available to me, plenty of time to do what I need to do. Tell God there's already got somebody under fire and pretty good shape there. Kill the plane in front of me. Try 
turn this thing around and let's finish this up. Way to go. And it's Victory done. Is close. Okay. Never ever let fighters just sit behind your tail if you get something to say about it. Those that take them under fire, turn the plane so that I can get a good. Uh, keep them under fire and keep a good target on them. And that wraps it up. Is it pretty? Absolutely not. Does it get the job done? It absolutely does. Okay, so just shy of 6,000, 6,000. It's nice silver there, just shy of 100,000 there, and 300 points of uh, free experience. We killed three aircraft, took three bases, assisted with one. And our pilot and gunner still progress. Came in a comfortable number one there. Three balls of fire came in, one on his side. All right, so you see my uh, loadout right there is the two 500 pound bombs, the eight uh, TRS-3 uh, 132 missiles. We've got the 23 millimeter cannon, six of them, and of course we've upgraded the turret, and we are working for the new engine. Now that AM23 is one nice cannon, and we are still about 25,000 25, points away from upgrading the engine. All right, folks, I want to thank you for spending some time with us today. I uh, also want to thank you uh, for uh, subscribing and liking the video. And thank you for flying the very unfriendly skies of Toronan. And we will see you tomorrow.